TTN News. This is William Storm McGarvey reporting from Scotland, a country rich in diversity and a very healthy nation. Aye, right. Shut up, you. <laughs> anyway, uh, the Glasgow City Tourist Board is trying to implement professional nerds into our society. Are these professional nerds really needed? We'll find out for you tonight on TTN News. Let's cut to our man in the street. Our man in the street, that way. Well, thanks, Stoner, for your information. Um, Dobber here with Malky the Alky, and he's going to explain why he's an Ed, a professional one as well. Well, you can't complain with 26 grand per week as power to the nation, to the people of Glasgow City Council. All right, Preps. All right. Aye. I need to take this phone call, I'm sorry. All right, doll. What are you doing? Nothing. Want to go to the chip shop and get me a fresh chaffa? Two cans of iron brew and four pickles. Behind me, right? Right, cheer you later. Sorry about oh, that. Sorry. So, do you like this job? I have to go, sorry. Okay. What a fud, man. Back to the studio. A fresh supper and a two-litre bottle of Diet Coke. And I'll see you tonight, Alan. Okay, thank you very much there for that there, Dobber. Uh, and the Scottish Health Minister is up in arms at the way Scot the Scottish diet is changing. Apples are replacing Mars bars. Oranges are replacing deep fried pizzas. So what's that all about? Let's cut to those pie eaters in the, in the street. I don't like melons because I'm massive and minging and I like fish suppers because they're nice and greasy and slip in your throat. Mmm. Oh, I love my tomatoes, especially on my deep fried pizza. Mmm. Usually, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but not in my case. It's a Mars bar a day keeps the doctor away. I don't like bananas, but I like chips. Chips are my health food for you. They're the same colour and same shape. Chips are better. Mm. I don't like an orange. It's too hard to peel. I'd rather have a can of iron brew and a fudge for my meal. And now we'll cut to a commercial break. Scotland's national drink, Iron Brew, is so important to our nation because it... Keeps hangovers! Well, the staff respect the young children at Fairbridges. People say children should be seen and not heard. Well, it's the opposite. It's both children should be seen and heard. You meet people that make you feel happy. When I want to talk to you, like... My key worker or anything, they're always there. And if I've got any problems, just tell them the problems and they'll get it sorted. Before I came to Fairbairns, I was out of control. And they've helped me settle down and stop fighting and relax a wee bit more than what I was. And done hurdles for me. They've done a lot for me. And Fairbridge has helped me come along leaps and bounds, confidence-wise, you know? And it's helped me. It's, as I say, it's helped me reintegrate back into society and it's helped me, Fairbridge has helped me focus on my goals, which are ultimately to go back to college in August and do drama and succeed at that. Before I found it really difficult to try and do new things just because I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't have the confidence to ask questions when I was stuck, but now I can go into situation and try something new and if I'm not sure what I'm doing, I'm okay about saying because I know that people aren't going to talk down to me if I ask and make me feel silly if I ask questions. So it's been really, really good. Welcome back to TTN News. It's time to talk about a subject very close to my heart, sex. Now, teenage pregnancies in Scotland are on the increase. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? We've been following one expecting father all the way through his pregnancy and his due date is very, very close. Now this man is very concerned about how he will deliver the baby as he has been informed as a 10 pounder. Let's cut to this very unfortunate individual. Well, a lot of people don't think we'll be able to cope because we're 16, but I think we'll be able to cope well. He's about nine months. Mm. It's quite big, but we don't know when it's going to come out yet. 
I think we'll be alright. I mean, I don't care. It's no me. It's having it. It's him. So I'm alright. I like. I get to do the stuff I like. Watch me bit of telly, drink while well, he's through all the pain and that. So I'm alright. You'll never get me drunk again. Why to shut up, you? Yeah? Uh, it's coming. Go and phone an ambulance and I'm watching the rest of these senders. Oh. And finally, on TTN News, we're going to talk to the girl who wants to be heard and not seen. Thanks, Donna. I'm now here with Invisible Girl. So why are you invisible? I'm behind you. Where? Ow, that was my foot. Sorry. Right, where are you now? I'm beside you. Right, why are you invisible? Well, people always judge me on how I look, so I thought I'd become invisible and make my voice heard. Well, there's an old saying, children should be seen and not heard. Well, are you even listening to me? Aye. You're not looking at me. Because I can't see you. I've had enough of this, I'm off. This is Bam reporting back to the studio. And you've been watching William Storm McGarvey on TTN News, watching me, watching you, watching TTN News. OK, thank you very much. Now, give your money. Good night. Today's weather in Glasgow is a bit miserable and it's raining and a bit windy. Tomorrow it may be a bit raining and windy, but in the weekend it may be raining windy and even a bit of snow. Although we have made light of the issues in our film, Fairbridge deals with these and many more, helping so many young people to make informed choices about their lives. Bye! Bye.